Hello and welcome to Gathering. I'm Belinda Miller. This is where we keep you up to date with all the latest news and information about Indigenous television. Coming up, we head to Jinnaburra country for the annual Woodford Folk Festival and catch up with blues singer Buddy Knox. Also, we head to Canberra and catch up with the who's who of Indigenous television. Plus, we preview a new show that is coming to NITV this year. And later, we check in with my buddy Nathan Foley, who's going to answer your questions and tell you what's happening around the country. Woodford is about an hour's drive north of Brisbane, and it is home to the annual Woodford Folk Festival, which is set on the beautiful Jinnaburra country. The Folk Festival has been going for about 25 years, and I've been going for the last 13 years. It's a festival I would never miss. And it's just the best place to go and see live music, check out amazing cultures and, of course, get immersed in all the beautiful food. While I was at the Woodford Folk Festival, I caught up with my mate, Buddy Knox. And this is what we had a yarn about. I started playing when I was 13 and the first time was, was when you first do anything. Like, you get nervous and you're scared and... I just, oh, scared the hell out of me. But it felt, it felt good because it's what, what you like to do. It's been a, the biggest part of my life. You have other things going on in your life, like, like any people, you know. It, it's that's still there from the start till today. I'm over 30 now. <laughs> the, so, the songwriter was within me. I didn't know it was there, and uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do it like that too until I put put my head down and what songwriting is like I think you have to get your story out there. You have to do it. To get tell your own personal story, you gotta be able to put that down. And what I've been going through in the last well, probably ten years is what you'll hear a little bit of it on on the recording. The the album is called Buddy's Blues. I like playing blues, first of all. Playing playing the songs that I like to play and it's just good fun to have people get in and enjoy Enjoy that, would you? It's just a, it's a good, it's just all a good time. I thought I'd, I've been everywhere. I've been everywhere. It's just for a bit of music. And that's what took me there. Um, we're Sabrina in the Red Vans. Um, I'm Sabrina. This is Suzanne Kinsella who plays bass. We've got Till Bain Robin who plays the drums, and we've got Greg Whitehead up there that plays um, guitar. Um, basically, our style is rock, soul. Um, pop, I guess, just sort of meshed into one. It's been working really well. I've had a few people in the outfit um, over the years, and this is the best fit that we've had, so it's been brilliant. Although we have a shared sort of background, uh, we are coming from different places and different influences. When we do come together, it's quite nice because everyone's got different tastes in music, and so I guess we, we sort of come together and create a unique sound, I guess, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think we all really worked together and found, you know, found ourselves on the same page, which is really um, sometimes unique for an original band. Um, and I think um, Sabrina and I sing together really well and that's a really um, unique element. We've been really lucky, I guess, as a band. It's going to be a really big year. 2011 is going to be great, yeah. yeah. Hello, everybody. This is me, Mary G the Black Queen of the Kimberley. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me to speak to you, Australia, about my people. Everybody knows that Indigenous Australia has a tough challenge ahead of them. But I don't want to talk about that. But what I do want to talk about is the real issues that can make our lives better. Every day, our Indigenous women work very hard, looking after themselves, the family, helping in the community. But sometimes they get ashamed and they won't speak up and tell people what they really, really think about all the important issues. So I have a new TV show coming soon, mind you. It's called Straight Shooting. It's relaxed, easy going, half an hour of special guests, healthy discussion, honesty, and of course, cups of tea. <laughs> Your help is important too, though. So if you want to find out a bit more about the show, then go to the Straight Shooting website. Nearly everybody can be doing something. So come and join us. Wouldn't it be great if by the time I'm 30, there'd be no more shame? What a yow. So come with me. I'm going to put on a good show for you. Oh, my God.
Come on, what are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is what you call straight shooting. <laughs> straight shooting, right? What are you? Hey, I'm Buddy Knox, and you're watching Gathering on NITV. This year, NITV celebrates its fourth birthday with new shows and big plans to reach into the homes of all Australians. The Who's Who of Indigenous Television recently launched into 2011 at an event at Canberra's Parliament House. Not since NITV switched on just a little over three years ago, on Black Friday, the 13th of July, 2007, have we taken time out to acknowledge our achievements. And today is with excitement that we launch our future programming slate for 2011. What NITV does is it offers an extraordinary window. 90% is Australian content, and that's all about Indigenous people, compared to 60% elsewhere. The Australian public who do watch NITV love it. They get an insight into Indigenous Australia when there's a lot of nonsense being spoken about Indigenous people. They want more, they want to know how accessible it can be, and I think they want it free to air. This new lot of programming is really special. I was just amazed at how much there is, like, online stuff, webcasting, we're just moving into this new technology, but I guess it's exciting too to see some new shows that really focus on youth, they focus on going bush, and they focus on the humour. The shows that are coming out next year are just amazing, so I think everyone, especially in the room back there, everyone is so excited. From the moment we switched on, we had huge expectations to fulfil. We had to capture not only the imagination of a nation, but become a place of belonging for all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. NITV provides a very uh, important cultural bridge between Black Australian and White Australian, and it helps educate people. There's still cultural people who still you know, practice laws and that, and some of it's running out really quick too. Languages that are dying out, um, songs that are dying out. So if we can record them and keep them for you know for the future, that'd be awesome. Our shows are new and unique. Never before has Australian audiences had access to the diversity of Indigenous content as told by us. Nowhere else on Australian television will you get to see that sort of content about Indigenous Australians. You know, it's vitally important to have this platform to uh, tell our stories. This is Gathering on NITV. Hi, I'm Nathan Foley. Thanks for tuning in to Gathering. Now, this is your opportunity to have your say and to find out all about the shows that you love on NITV. We have been swamped with letters from viewers. This one's from Natalie of South Australia. I like to keep up to date with what's happening in our communities, and I love watching the news, but why does it only go for 15 minutes? Well, Natalie, we at NITV would like to let you know that NITV News will be launching itself as a half-hour news service on the 28th of February. This one's from Paul from Northern Territory. Dear NITV, I was wondering, will you be broadcasting the Narajuta Lightning Football Carnival this year? Well, Paul, NITV will be broadcasting the Football Carnival in April, so stay tuned for further details as the event gets closer. Now, if you want to promote an event or a gig, don't hesitate to contact us here at NITV. Let's travel around the country and see what's happening in your area. In the Northern Territory this month, watching this place is being held at the Araluan Art Centre, Alice Springs, until February 13th. It is an art exhibition featuring a variety of different styles and forms of art. Everyone is welcome and it's free to attend. For all our viewers in Canberra, the annual National Multicultural Festival takes place in Civic from Friday the 11th of February to Sunday the 13th of February. Join the Master of Ceremonies and Naranjeti comedian Kevin Cropanieri at the Indigenous Showcase on Saturday the 12th of February. And it's free. Make sure you keep on attending all the deadly Indigenous events around Australia. Stay strong and proud. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our very first episode of Gathering. We've got a great series coming your way. All you have to do is stay tuned to NITV. To find out more information about our brand new show, Gathering, check out our website, www.nitv.org.au. Make sure you keep sending in your feedback and email us if you have an event you want to promote. Let's go out with a live track from the Ruby Hunter tribute show coming soon to NITV. Here is Archie Roach, Titters and Paul Kelly with Down City Streets. See you next time. Bye for now. Down City Streets.
kisses early in my heart. Next time on Gathering, we follow Anita Heiss to the Oprah Winfrey Show, we profile the National Gallery of Australia, head to Arnhem Land for the Gama Festival and check out all the action from the National, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Basketball Championships. That and much more on the next episode of Gathering.